It's our first morning and everyone is super excited and ready to go. The plan today was to, to fish offshore anywhere from 55 to 70 miles. Before you head out offshore in the morning, one of the most important things with tuna fishing is to make sure you have enough ice. It's critical to cool the tuna meat as quickly as possible in order to keep it in the best shape you can. So we had to load up on ice before we headed out. Good boys. Nicely done. Okay, boys, we're off, hey, right on time. All right, boys, yeah, right on, here we go. 33, Boom. two, T minus two and a half hour to first bite. Big tuna. Let's go, big tuna. Who's gonna eat first, that's the fish. Ooh, that's real <laughs> uh, hopefully the fish, I hope yeah, the fish. The fish. Yeah. Look at all the boats out here. There's quite a few guys out already. So what do you want to do? Uh, we'll start here. Yeah, I think like that's a good spot to go, and we'll cut across. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be moving around at seven miles an hour. We're gonna cover some ground out there, so it'll give us a chance to get the barbecue set up. Just hit exit, and it'll stay on yeah. us. Zoom in, and then when we get offshore, we'll. That'll go right on us there. Yeah, we're yeah. golden. I love using that stuff. Oh, it's so slick, right? Yeah. Keeps you on a straight line. Like even though you know where you're going, a lot of times oh, you yeah. just natural tendency is just to to pull the boat. Zigzagging all over out there. Yeah. All right, bud, we're in the game here. All right. Once you have your destination figured out, it's all about riding out there safely. And our Kingfisher boat has performed great for us in all kinds of water conditions. When you make your way offshore, some of the telltale signs of the right area you're in is one, is the blue water. Two, is uh, bird activity. If you see birds working water or just see birds kind of flying around, and you're in that blue water into a piece of water that's showing a temperature change, usually you're trying to hit about that 62 to 64 degree water temperature is ideal, then I think it's a pretty good time to drop the gear and, and see if the fish are around. Getting the first line in the water here, just got out to the grounds. Temperature is about 61 degrees. Nice blue water, sunny day, we're just Gonna throw an assortment of gear at these fish here. Some, some zookers, some cedar plugs. We've got some attractors going and basically we just gotta drive over them now. We look for signs of life out here for birds. Looking for uh, uh, ideally maybe some jumping fish. But uh, they're around. We gotta find them. We need some cooperation. I got this a long ways out, Jeffrey. Look at that. Look at it. You see it out there? That's fine. Perfect. Okay. We're using some Metallica's Speedmasters, 12s and 16s. Awesome reels for this type of fishery. Can't wait to hear them singing today. So our long rods are going to be at the end of the downriggers. And as you move in, you're into your spread, your lines are shorter. So just when you're turning, you're not crossing lines and that. Just so that's kind of the concept here. So you can see that boat heading out and then when we stop the line, you'll see it splashing here in a second. Obviously, where it's creating the wake back there, but we want that to go a little further back. Just trying, trying to create as big a spread and as wide a spread as possible, creating an attraction to these fish to come up to the surface and feed. And now that we've got all the lines out, we need a cowbell one. I think tradition is a little more cowbell. Get to purchase a new one this year. Nice. There we go. Hey, the dinner bell. Woo! Dinner bell. The buffet's open. Fishy, fishy, it's fishy. Open. Fish, fish on. on. Here we go. Woo! Somebody needs to be on the wheel, Gubby. I got the wheel. Okay, I'm just gonna clear these lines and lay this here, so don't step on that, okay? Sounds good. You in it? Yeah, go under, go underneath Jeffrey. Go under Jeff. Yeah, but I'm on here though. Right? Well, yank it off. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, it's off. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to crank her in. Just pull her in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pull it straight. This was on the boat. Long line, eh? Long line. On the way, on the furthest out boat. Well, the water looks great. Yeah, nice and clear. Turning towards the fish here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, should, I mean, you don't know, right? You're yeah, fighting a bit know. of the boat, right? Fighting, but the, it, fighting the drag of the boat. But it is coming in fairly easy run. now. Did take a good run. Did a couple, a couple 
couple head bursts and took off. That's a nice fish. Go fast. Keener, huh? Yeah. Nice fish. Good, Good start. Good job, Jeff. Atta boy, we're on the board. Yeah. First fish. Good job, buddy. Ten minutes. Take us over that spot again and see if it produces. Okay. First fish of the day. Oh, it's a nice fish. Good, healthy fish. Not a derby winner, but hey, we found one. Where there's one, there's usually a couple. So we get back at her right away. A beautiful fish. Well done, boy. Well done. Yeah. <laughs>